Hello everybody, how we doing? Okay. That's pretty much the next thing that I have. But I'm missing a treasure here, and I don't know. I'm maybe here. What? Is that I'm missing a treasure in the floor, in this area, zone, whatever you want to call it. Hey. Thought is maybe over here. Oh. Okay, okay, hang on, guys. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute, for a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're only happy now because you know that it's coming. If we don't get it to you quick, you're gonna get upset. Noise. Alright. There you go. Can I even get down to that floor? Because I bet I wonder if the treasure that I'm missing is down there. Maybe I can't get it yet. I don't see it down there, though. Like, I don't see a treasure. Oh, wait, what's this? Bubbles are floating in the air with a colorful glow. For some reason, they form an image that seems to carry profound meaning. Touch the bubble. I mean, there's that big one in the middle. Because I know there's that. I'm missing, essentially, out of all of these zones, I'm missing a single chest in this one. So, I don't know where it is. And it's bothering me. 
Okay. So I'm guessing that it has to do with this elevator over here, but it says that I don't have like the credentials or something. And unlike the other locked door, it doesn't, like, tell me what I have to do to get it. Yeah, it just says I'm not authorized. So I'm guessing this is something I can't do yet? Essentially, I was messing around with this. Um... last night a little bit and this morning and i more or less cleared this of all the like obvious quests and treasures and all that stuff hi hi <laughs> are you done already you're not hungry anymore did you just want to sit here okay. like any kid you put something away and it's all of a sudden that's all they want Lift a baby. There you go. What? What? Hi. I need to be able to access the elevator. Okay. I thought so. It won't let me. It just says I'm not authorized. Wait, I found more bubbles. I swear these weren't here, like, when I was just playing this, like, half an hour ago. You don't need to pull on that. You definitely don't need to eat that. There. All the secrets will help me with the currency for the stock shop station. Yeah, I bought the um the Eidolon item already. Like I said, I was like, I was going nuts. Maybe I'll go start at the top and then make sure we talk to everybody before we leave. I like that idea. getting late. Where to now? You can bring the camera back for at least a little bit. What? Okay. I mean, I want to touch the bubbles, but I need to figure out how to touch the bubbles. Please do not remove your name card or face. Okay. Okay, let's start with up here and see if there's anybody to talk to. I'm getting stick drift on my controller again. Which is really annoying. I'm hoping... We're gonna have to look up and see if there's a way to fix it. If not... I might need to keep an eye out for a sale on the new... Because apparently the new... Like, the later generation of controllers don't have stick drift. dancing with the baby this morning to the music in Star Rail and he was like fucking loving it. <laughs> right? What's that look? Can help too. 
Okay. Oh, maybe I'll have another quest. Is there anything I can help with? Okay. What? Okay. See, now there's bubbles everywhere. Touch the bubble. I have to ask somebody about the bubble. Bubbles are cool multiverse insights. I don't know who to talk to for the to touch a bubble. So. Right now, I'm just running around to everybody, though. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything before we leave. At least nothing that I can do. If only I got paid more. I can come back. Oh, I figured. Found a puppy. Sorry, my hand has been hijacked, so... He's watching the screen right now. <laughs> I found this note. Is it yours? Okay. You need to get a medical checkup.
How is that related? So long as you're happy. Okay, so there are hidden quests and stuff. This Supplies person didn't must like be me. Allocated without delay. You want to play? Here. <laughs> He's trying, to, like, trying to grab the... Touch the controller. Okay. Anything good? Does he have anything good? No. Do you want to sit back down? Do you want to go back down? <laughs> Okay, you're getting squirmy. Spin the baby. Spin the baby. <laughs> yeah. Shh. There you go. All right. Got his toys now, so. Okay, so. A thing, really. <laughs> think smart water raises their IQ. Oh god, that's probably a thing these days too. Seem like the kind who doesn't think much about consequences. Oh, I just finished my chocolate. Dad. Okay, memory bubble. Steal the memories of others. Oh boy. Faction that worships the Aeon uh, fully. Or else to 
find my perception. Memo keepers. Travel between worlds to collect precious memories. Okay. Can I touch the bubble now? Yes, I can touch the bubbles. Well, now we're gonna have to go everywhere again and find all the bubbles. The kids. Gods really exist and they're elevated from mortals. Gods aren't almighty, but each holds different authorities. It's normal for you to be confused. A sharp object. This is a mirror of transcendence. Look at them. Look at what the eon look like. The sculpture. Shattered. Let's vertically in half and the separated parts fall independently. The left part is a muscular man, the right is a gorgeous woman. Oh, like they're making each other? This is what beauty in its purest form looks like in your perception. This is what they are. Interesting. More bubbles. Oh, were it not for your psychic tentacles, you would be hard-pressed to discern the structure of the space surrounding you. Perfect weather for sleeping. Mm -hmm. I love sleeping in the cold. We can't really have the bedroom as cold as we like it, though, right? At the moment, because of the baby, but... Heavy metal snowfall. Huh. Heavy metal compounds undergo evaporation due to the high temperatures, which causes them to rise to the troposphere. They then condensate and combine with the inorganic acids in the atmosphere, after which they return to the surface in the form of precipitation. How freaking hot is this planet that it evaporates metal? possibly be better than enjoying hot cocoa while snuggled up in a nice thick blanket and streaming a drama you enjoy if heavy metal snows down. I guess even boiling based tentacle monsters like hot chocolate. Breaking good. <laughs> hey, 
dude. There are some fucked up planets as you progress main story. What annoys you two or to chill? Well, I get things for touching the bubbles. People who buy that think smart water raises their IQ. Bubble. The current event requires completion of the latest story and only lasts 31 days. You've never imagined yourself to be sitting in the lavish box of Grand a Grand Theater. The silky red velvet sofa is stuffed with tear duck down feathers. Can't find a better word to describe the sofa other than extravagant. It does suck, could you? I don't know if it sat behind the main quest or available earlier. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that if I go to the events thing, almost nothing is available right now. Which is, I mean, I shall do. Okay, so I'm doing an investigation and apparently don't like opera <sighs> not at all I'm just curious and watches me silently as uh, asking me to continue <laughs> You have Prime again. Thank you so much for your Prime sub. Yay. I am doing well. It's like... I don't know. For the first time... Probably almost in my entire life. I'm actually okay with just kind of like not trying not to be too bothered about the shit that's bothering me. That makes sense. Like, I'm a little upset that, like, you know, my computer is pretty much almost deprecated now. Like, I'm not gonna be able to play new games really anymore. You try to use it here if you have it. Well, I do appreciate that. I mean, y'all know I appreciate that. Like, I really do. Uh, but yeah, like, my computer is... It's getting to the point where it's not going to be able to play anything that comes out. Uh, like, from now onwards. We're getting really close to that, if not already there. It kind of upsets me, because there's some games that I'm really excited about. But, you know what? In the grand scheme of things right now doesn't matter I think it's cuz like I don't know I feel like I finally found myself if that makes sense and it's in a place that I never ever would have expected I... <laughs> so it is good that said I do still want to upgrade my computer again. Actually, I had a good, I had a thought. Um, because the new AMD cards are coming out, or are already out, I'm kind of hoping that the 6000 series, like, that there's some insane clearance deals with um, Black Friday coming up. Fingers crossed. Does the family really exist? You ask tentatively. He shakes his head and beckons the waiter over. 
The young waiter presents an item on a tray to the two of you. It's an exquisite wooden box with a long and narrow opening on the side. You hear a Renoir speaking in a muddled voice. Put it in. No, is that Renoir's voice? You were sure you heard a noise. Although the instruction is unclear, you still place your hand in the box out of instinct. <laughs> Seems like a dumb idea to me. But! But! Something I would totally do. Next, you experience an overwhelming sense of guilt surging through your body. You feel like a criminal waiting for just judgment. You're certain that looks are being leveled at you, penetrating... I see gazes from Mr. Renoir, the waiter, and everyone else in the theater. You're super obsessed with Pokemon cards at the moment. I am. I don't. What am, what am I working on these days? Uh, streaming, obviously. Um, doing pixel art and or 3D animations, like 3D stuff for like game game assets and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to get a uh, a Patreon kind of up and going. Plus, Mux wants to make something, so I'm trying to make stuff for that. And then I've been doing some, like, crochet again to make some stuff for the baby. That's that's pretty much what I've been up to lately. Plus gaming and streaming. Yeah? Bubbles. More bubbles. Scan the venue through a 160 degree wide angle lens with a diameter of 20 centimeters. Well, this person's super analytical. Ladies and gentlemen, now we proudly present the latest product of the uh, Aiden Jacobin School of Mathematics and Science. Well, that explains it. Pronto is the first supercomputer with powerful artificial intelligence in our country. It features groundbreaking functions such as natural language and graphics processing and emotional and behavioral recognition and responses. And in the coming spindle mission, Pronto will unprecedentedly pilot the research vessel as the sixth passenger. Area 42. Okay. On the sound from the audience, Pronto, the person speaks up in attention of questioning them. You are assigned a very important role in the mission. Will your confidence be swayed by the amount of work? You increase the voltage in Area 78, moving the shutter of the solenoid valve. Just a moment, I move your mechanical arm to correct angle. Let me answer you this way, sir. The Pronto Expert System is the most reliable artificial intelligence in history. I've never had errors or produced distortion information. I'm genuinely impeccable and flawless. Feeding your cat? Yeah, no worries. Thanks. There you go. I know that there's more bubbles. Where did we see more bubbles? I'm gonna have to go through every zone now, aren't I, to look for bubbles? Achieve bubbles. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Hey, Carol! The man next to you stares at the porthole at a sparkling jade-like object hovering in the boundless space. How many times does the star rise happen? Uh, let me see. 27 times, I guess? Yeah, 27 times.
Another system month has passed. When do you think we can go back? There's no one left on the planetary surface to guide our landing. We can't even make it to the atmosphere. I have whiskers! If only they could look at the planet from this angle, then the tragedy might not have happened. Look at her. This used to be our home and our past. Everyone, including the people you love and know, stayed there. People were originally bound to spend their entire lives there, regardless of who they are. All of our emotions, religions, and ideologies, all the hunters and robbers, kings and peasants, heroes and cowards, parents and their children, everything we see, hear, think, and feel exists on this dark spot. A speck of dust, dust floating in a rip in ray bursts and the sparkle of stars, a dark spot that radiates a feeble green glow. Look at her. How dare those ancients. Ancient politicians assume this dark spot to be the center of the world, and therefore meant they had the power to control the universe. Here. Come on. There you go. Okay. You can have the past fun, or your but you can't. There you go. Could there be anything more ridiculous than that? Wow. I didn't know you were so articulate. Come on, you know I can't even read well. I'm just a rat. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, next. I guess let's start up here and see if there's any bubbles up here. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I don't know where all the bubbles are going to be, so... I don't know if I'll keep being this completionist before moving on to the next zone, but for now, why not, you know? There's a bubble. Spoiler stuff is the best way to play Baldur's Gate. I'll, oh, no no spoilers. Not too much about that one, Killbot. Because that's one that I definitely do want to play blind. When I can. But that's one that I may or may not need new hardware for. Especially because my monitor is full uh, 4K. We're in a full set of advanced outdoor equipment prepared by the IPC. You realize your fingers are almost broken. Oh, God. That's all you were going to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I trust you guys. Y'all know how I like the flood games. So it's all good. It's all good. I mean, I've already said, though, that, like, I don't mind the regulars backseating me for, like, Genshin in this here. Part of the smaller zone, so every corner isn't hard to explore. That's kind of what I figured, Pooch. According to ancient laws of United Tribes of Hithradon, any who disobeys the noblest will be ordered to redeem their sins. The wrongdoer will find Mount Pygmalion alone and reach the peak where they must rub a copy of the Stella's prophetic inscription. If the wrongdoer is pardoned by the inscription, then their name will be cleared in the presence of the chief. Like, our body is, like, falling apart. You like the way I play games? Well, I mean, I figured that's why y'all are here. 
No, um, I would I would even do Baldur's Gate sooner. I just like it's you know expensive games. I can't afford shit right now. <laughs> I've got a few things that like I do have like a little bit of money. Well, kind of rough because I have to see what's happening because I had supposedly I had um like a uh, a sales tax refund that I'm supposed to get but it was sent to my bank account which was closed so I have to wait for it to get bounced back to um, the Canadian tax agency and then I have to request the missing check and have them mail it to me here and then I have to figure out where the hell do I cash a Canadian check in the U.S. To get U.S. funds. So. <laughs> there's like, there's so many, I don't know. I'm not really stressed. The only thing that's mildly stressing me out right now is trying to figure out how to import my car. At least it's simple and not all com complicated and annoying for no reason. God, that's like everything right now. Hi, here you go. Like, I can't figure out how to import my car, of all things. So if anybody is familiar with importing things in the US when you can't go to a border, feel free to send me a DM or something because fuck if I know. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera because I think the baby wants some more attention. He's been very attention needy lately. I can't! Killbuck, that's the problem. If I could, I actually would cross over into Canada and then declare on the way back in, but I cannot cross the border right now. If I cross the border, I'm not getting back into the US. Until I get my paperwork. That's the problem, is I need to figure out how to import something without being able to go even go near a border. That's the problem. Because if I leave, then I'm considered to be essentially abandoning my, my residency request. Even if it's only for like an hour, so, and they won't let me back in. I can get paperwork that supposedly lets me, but they could still refuse. So my car's just been in storage for like a year. The, the battery is completely dead to the point that I can't even open the doors. Like without sticking the key in. There's no Stella. Oh. Shit. Only a frozen, curled up body can be seen on the vast snowy landscape. The person is well equipped and their face is frozen. Their eyes filled with fear cast their housing of despair at you across millennia of time. The frozen person is you. You gasp in shock and cry soundlessly. Yeah, I can't go to the border. That, that would actually be an easy solution. <laughs> go visit my sister for a day. Come back, declare the car, problem solved. But. Actually, my sister's probably moving to the States. I, I think next month now. What? Yeah? Here. Do you want to watch me play? You want to watch me play? Come here. Sit. Here. You can watch me play.
Mm -hmm. But yeah, I hopefully like might get a little bit of money, but it's going to have to go towards what's in your pockets. Our patient ran into medicine and need supplies. I have to go back and check my records. What a pain in the neck. You look sleepy. Stop talking to me then. Oh god. You're not feeling well. Don't ask for me. What are you trying to do? He just keeps like, oh, there you go. He's got some hair now. That'll probably make him happy. Okay. Don't pull my hair. Are there bubbles in not safe zones or are they only in safe zones? Oh. Nope, they're outside of safe zones too. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Uh, you see many people wearing white robes. It's apparent to you what they're doing. They're summoning them, the noble being who travels against time. I think they'll get to meet it. Without the intention of disrespecting their faith, you strongly opine that time is unidirectional and it is impossible to go back in it. At that moment, the one in the white robe closest to you suddenly looks up. trying to do he keeps trying to grab my face i've been like facing away from me like facing the same way i do and he keeps putting his arm up and like trying to grab my face I tremble in fear and plead for their mercy loudly but you have no mouth what oh please at least treat me humanely you will you can almost make out the cold glint flickering underneath the person's robe are there no law in order here you keep your eyes tightly shut you hear the rustling sound be of, of that robe being dragged along the stone tiles and the muffled thump of a pair of bare feet landing on the ground the sound gets closer louder and suddenly comes to an abrupt halt somewhere very close to you yet you only feel a warm sensation you open your eyes to find the person pressing his forehead against your body Tears are streaming down his face, which was obscured by the shadow of the hood. The monument is shaking. They have sensed us. He announces at the top of his lungs. Soon after, sighs of release come from the crowd. A surge of relief washes over you too. Great, the people here are civilized, and no one will do anything bad to a pathetic stone. Ah. Oh god, this area was huge. What? Okay, let go of mommy's hair. Let, 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 let go. Let go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Bubble! We be hunting for bubbles. Also, I can get treasure from those things, so I will take it. Oh, no bubble.
Okay, there's a bubble there. There is... Welcome to Herta Space Station. Ow. Okay, you want to watch something ridiculous? <laughs> That's how fast the PS5 is. That's faster than going around. <laughs> like, how ridiculous is that? You're surprised you are stuck in a dark and cramped room. The air is thick and dank, mixed with a putrid sea. Unique to moldy rotten wood. What? Hi. Okay, let go of that. What? Wee! Yeah? Hi! Yeah? Let's try lying you down so we can get the camera back on. How's that sound? Okay. I know. Hang on. You're surprised you're stuck in a dark and cramped room. The air is thick and dank. Oh, I read that part already. What? Do you want to go back in your playpen? Can't move. You can clearly hear them. Those multitudes of cursed creatures sniffing around outside this locked wooden box. Their serrated feelers are impatiently thrashing around, lashing out at everything outside of your narrow confines. You can. Hey, what? Come here. I think you need a nap. Come here. I know. Hey. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Of course, you know these despicable arthropods have no intellect to communicate with you. Their disgusting mouthpieces dripping with sticky saliva should only be used for chewing and eating. But you are sure you heard something. They are definitely whispering something, but their mouthpieces, no, those darn mouthpieces, should not be able to make that kind of sound. Did the sound come from their filthy wings covered with an oily film? You listen intently. Yes, the disgusting wings are flapping in the air as they are repeatedly as they repeatedly utter that cursed name in a shrill and hoarse hiss. Hazeroth. I'm assuming- will I eventually figure out what is with like the white bars? So I've seen- this is the second place that I've seen them.
There we go. Okay. Today should have been your lucky day, your department head, whose face is always as long as a fiddle, just raised your IPC rating to P30. You share the news with your mother, living in your faraway hometown, and her voice sounds excited. You seem to hear her slimy body making a bubbling sound, a special physiological reaction of your Bavero race in moments of happiness. You on the call and get in your brand new floating motorcycle. 18 months of your salary. Jeez. Okay. Should you tell your mother the truth that the traditional project department is in fact a place for people to retire in and has no future? With a whimper, you twist the throttle to the max and dash into the aerial interchange lane in New Londinium. You like joyriding along the interchange lane. From here, the city looks like the tiny flickering candlelights on a mini mineral birthday cake. Easily blown out. The troubles you face at work all fade away at that moment. The streets are deserted. You look up briefly at the news projected in the sky to find out the latest happenings. The face of the co-prime minister appears on the screen. Fine. Decided to need to focus on the road ahead. And it is too late. The instant you return your attention from the clouds, the engine of the floating motorcycle suddenly misfires and plummets to the ground out of your control. You hope you won't land on Buckingham Avenue or will be fined or you will be fined an enormous amount. Your relief there's only an old shopping street with a few pedestrians nearby, and your landing has hurt no one. Elderly couples who are happily chattering suffer a fright, but as soon as they realize you're in nothing but a puddle of slime, they immediately clink their glasses in happiness again. I can't believe this, you bubble as you stare at the motorcycle, reduced into a pile of burning wreckage. Not knowing what to do, you have no idea how far you are from your condo. You can only look up at the sky and ask for advice from the stars. But you hear the stars in the sky saying, even the poorest worker in East New London Indium can't help but feel proud of the wealth we jointly own with the IPC. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't go through here. Ha. No bubbles. We'll do the sides first. Oh wait, this one actually goes like, actually goes somewhere. Okay, I don't see any bubbles there. Oh, I scheduled a meeting for, like, random people. Apparently. Folklore team of the Intelligentsia Guild stationed on the planet is not replied, but your aircraft is running out of fuel. We must land now! The dashboard shows your altitude. <sighs> Still no signals detected? Your captain sounds anxious. In your view, people from the guild are swindlers who hoodwinked others under the guise of knowledge. You do not understand why the captain is so worried. All frequency bands are blocked, just like a week ago. Also, no heat emission of li living organisms are detected in the residential areas, or rather, anywhere. In case you don't understand what this means, I'm saying all living organisms on the surface of the planet have evaporated. Oh boy. All living organisms have vanished? Is that even possible? 
Actually, it might be, after all. These humanoid fungi are pious believers of that bizarre faith. Perhaps their god has brought them all to another place. While being absorbed in your thoughts, you are jolted back to reality. Oh. By a violent shudder from the bottom of the aircraft. You and the rest enter a building and exit again. The search lasts for a long time, but your confusion is not answered. As the nerd puts it, all life activities have creepily come to an abrupt halt. Food left on place hasn't rotten yet, and the tenant fireplaces set the building on fire, which is later put out by rain. Pens drop to the floor due to gravity, and their ink stain the entire room. The only thing unaffected is the intricate coat of arms that constantly watches over everything created by the fungi civilization from every corner of the world. From both sides of the streets, inside closets, on flags and niches, it's everywhere. Huh. That's creepy. Oh, wait. You've got your dinner in a few minutes? Yeah, no worries. Oh, I feel. Feel much. You know, I don't mind if you work, pop in and out, do what you gotta do. Bubbles. I'm just hunting for bubbles right now. I'm not really doing anything overly the exciting. Tell me about capability. Word count <laughs> tells me about attitude. Fetch it. Actually, hang on. I might know what the baby might want. He's got this little otter that, like, plays noise and stuff. He has stuffed crust pizza and chips. Nice. I'm not a big fan of stuffed crust pizza, but that's because I'm not a big fan of cheese. It's always stippling hot on the Abilene... Abilene... Express every day you're squeezed shoulder to shoulder with various mechanical bodies. You love cheese. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of cheese. People find it weird, especially because of how much milk I drink. But I'm not a big fan of cheese. You're using the cloudy prosthetic eye at the back of your head to peep at the blonde woman, or more precisely, the blonde female robot behind you. You stare at her phone screen, happily browsing her romantic life that reads like a soap opera. God. So, we're in the memories of a creep right now. This distance is extremely delicate. You consider yourself as someone who walks on the edge of morality. Out of the remaining shreds of your conscience, you deliberately move your frontal vision away. That's totally not because it's easier to peep this way. Totally not. You wonder whether she is a colleague from your department. You have no idea, but you enjoy reading about her interactions and schemes with her 18 lovers. Between you and her, you're not sure who's more guilty, but you've always had a knack for finding excuses to prove your innocence. Work is hard, life is dull, I don't have enough ab uh, Abilene coins to buy tickets with a seat. That's what you've always used to excuse yourself. I wouldn't behave like this if I can afford to take a floating cab every day. Anyways, it's the IPC's fault for carrying out this so-called trade expansion. Uh, you don't understand what trade expansion even means. Whoever wants to be a saint can be one. You ain't gonna be one unless the act gives you money. Uh, she's typing. You concentrate and try to read the messages. The guy next to me is the 19. You can feel a sharp rise in temperature of your brain computer. You roll your pathetic eye around to check your surroundings, but there's no one around you. Who is the 19th? Have you been caught? Is there a police patrolling nearby? Or... Regardless of the outcome, you dare not continue your train of thought. You realize you are timider than you imagine yourself to be, and the electronic components in your body are also kicking off chemical reaction. Let's be wonder if she's like actually like a serial killer. That'd be kind of funny.
Oh, I see a bubble over there. You can't move. Both of your hands are staked. I might need to get food soon. Leading a rebellion and desecrating the god of beauty. Who bestowed our minds and senses upon us as blessing. Do you have any objection? You spit, getting rid of the bloody broken tea stuck in your throat. And Jure. You know where very well where that name you know very well where that name is derived from. It's Idrilla, that hideous being. People fanatically worship them and are grateful for their gifts, but do these people really believe there is absolute beauty in the world? You think of Dr. Howell and how he used to sneak looks at his face, you reminisce how, about how at the fields filled with dandelions after class. Oh boy, he forgot about the date and had no idea that Harlow Six was in fact closest to Owen Lee. On that day, and the satellite's thermal radiation made your cheeks burn red. Could not think of research. You listen to sound produced when his skin brushed the fabric of his shirt. Oh god, it's a freaking love letter. Your feelings from lasted until the day Dr. Howell announced the love of his life. But to spend the rest of his life tracing the past, present, and future of Anne Jure. Oh. Everything you understand about beauty has turned to ashes. I think that's almost it for this area. Yes. Okay. Once we finish this, I'm going to take a short break and go grab some lunch, I think. Oh, after I get a good stretch in. One way first. Looking for the bubbles. No bubbles. There's a bubble. Whoa. He went through a nebula. The long journey's made your digestive cavity feel upset. Devoured so many interesting items. A chunk of steel that shoots bright gas currents. A massive ball of fire trapped in a cage of iron. Crunchy rock debris disc, but you've grown tired of eating all that. You want something tastier and more of it. You flail your tentacles restlessly. Not being able to eat makes you feel so hangry. I wonder if all the tentacle thingies and like jello thingies are like all the same thing. 
There must be something tasty around the nebula, right? You feel a little annoyed as you circle about in a high-speed particle stream in misery. Sensory orbs pick something up. Fragrant, a scent that draws you in. What could it be? You race off to the source. Countless tubes and feeders swinging about violently. You haven't had this kind of feeling in forever. A primitive impulse shoots in your endoderm from your peripheral nervous system. It's thirst and hunger. The scent grows more intense. You can't resist the urge to extend your umbrella of a body as you throw your whole being into this dazzling aroma. You are so close. Now it's time for a grand feast. What comes in your field of vision is a massive planet. It is truly a big, big celestial body. You are still young, so you never imagined that a planet could be so big. You had previously assumed they were all small enough for you to swallow whole. Oh. Huh. If the planet before you is easily three times the size of your body, this makes you wonder whether your digestive cavity could fit it. How many days would it take to consume the whole planet? Your worries slip away before long. After all, you have plenty of time. You are the youngest in your amoeba slime mold tribe. You have far more days ahead of you than behind. Realize that you can eat for as many days as you like. Eating is your destiny. With this in mind, you happily burrow into the viscous atmosphere made of hydrogen and helium. You start looking for a place to begin your meal. You want to taste the scorching molten core first for the cool cause of ammonia. It's a buffet of planetary proportions. Well then. Oh, this is the random meeting I called. <laughs> the people in the conference room are so noisy you can't hear what anyone's saying. The fact that everyone's so willing to meet up in such a dangerous place is a glowing endorsement for your department. So, your solution is in no way appropriate for our department. You've never even given a single thought to our concerns. Since you know so much, then, do you have a plan that is suitable? Uh, we're already at version 12 of the plan. Do you think that's my fault, or are we supposed to ignore all of your previous poor suggestions? What are we going to do about it now? Egg custard? What do you need egg custard for? I'll revise that part in the next version. I'll, I'll definitely revise it. You know what? I think endless revisions and doing the same work over and over is the biggest failure of the research project process. What are you looking at me for? This revision business wasn't my idea. There's no need to keep listening to this debate. Go back and forth because the key mediator is missing. And you realize that the organizer of the meeting assumes this responsibility. I think the version 1 is quite satisfactory. You can all see very well for yourselves whether it meets all the current requirements. The argument abates and the correct answer is within grasp, but everyone seems to ignore it. It is precisely by grasping this blind spot that you're able to successfully crack it. The conference room draws quiet, and everyone present is roundly saved by version 1. You also get to experience the pleasure of helping others. I just think that's hilarious. We called a random ass meeting, and then it actually caused problems. You approach the bubble and experience a chilly sensation. You feel a sense of unease that pervades the air. You hear from the others, mostly the Eider, the one person on the team who's always getting the latest news. Hey! There. He had named the creature Fluffies. To be honest, it's not the most creative name. Oh my god, is it going to be Tribbles? These fluffballs are beloved among the construction team, so much so that they practic that practically every member has one. Of course, you do too. You named yours Big O because it's orange. Your pet is currently snoring away on your shoulder. 
You lovingly rub what you assume is most likely a tit. Like always, this brings you a bit of comfort. If you didn't have this little pet, you wouldn't be able to stay in the harsh construction environment and the mon monotony of work and life. So I've heard something. Keep in mind, I don't know for sure. Uh, the Emperor probably knows about the floppies. It's quite likely the special force is here to exterminate them. What? You can't even fathom it. Look how big O is. Can anyone resist petting its delightfully soft fur or listening to its satisfied purring? Think about it. They are clearly docile creatures. Why exterminate them? Ah, your supervisor buries his head in his fluff ball and takes in a gulp of air. A decrepit old emperor. Firstly, he sends us to make his tomb at this godforsaken place. And now we can't even have pets? Ridiculous. The dim dormitory falls silent for a moment. You look at your two co-workers and look out the window. You see the mechanical eye that remains suspended in the sky. Hi! Creating a rep repressive atmosphere with its feeble light. You all sigh together as if on cue. Big O stirs on your shoulder. It seems to have woken up, likely because of the hurried footsteps outside of the door of the dormitory. They're here! Hurry, hide them! Ada's words are abruptly cut off. Just as you start to worry and want to turn around to see what happened to him, you faintly make out a giant hairy mouth dripping with blood in the darkness. What? The, the, the fluffies eat everybody? He wants to sleep. I know he does. He, just, he, he can't because it's pacifier impulsive. Never trust a fluff. What did they say? You got bored. You feel bored to death. You fiddle with the adhesive explosive charge in your hand. Those old geezers still aren't going to give us the green light to open fire. You pull out the pin on the explosive, only putting it back in a few seconds before the countdown ends. The newbie standing next to you seems like she isn't used to your dangerous antics. She appears to be somewhat terrified. Uh, that's right, Professor. They worry that the high temperature produced by the explosion will activate the virus. Then why did they get us to come here? You originally wanted to scold them, but now are at a loss for words. You scared cats. Cells become cancerous and soft tissues calcify. You initially had assumed these old fogies were only capable of churning out useless garbage. But this report is actually interesting. Unfortunately, reading reports cannot calm your anxious heart. You sigh and lift your head. You look at the pallid runes in the distance. Your analysis revealed that these twisted runes, which look like bone spurs, have a history that goes back 400 amber eras. Uh, mysteriously appears as if brand new, how it would have looked 408 years ago. Confounded by this enigma, you are a seasoned armed archaeologist. You can, you've can longed to unravel all of historical mysteries. But they are holding you back from using your school's tradition. You should be blowing a hole into the surface of this bone spur and carrying off valuable artifacts. The fact that they won't permit it makes you seethe with anger, but you choose to compromise. You can't pay for this with your life. You settle for doing things the old way. You work to live, not live to work. You smack your lips in anticipation and start to plan your next steps. Hey boss, we found something good. What's he say? Yeah, you clearly told him to sit still and wait for further instructions. You suddenly realize something. You want to stop him only to discover you can't speak. You're, experience rapid, you're experiencing rapid petrification from inside out. Oh, just like terror familiar looking at terrifying bone sculptures in front of you oh that's creepy okay we're almost there we're almost there oh, I found the missing chest looks good I was the only one I was missing how did I not find that before look all done yes I did it I did it I did it
All right, okay, the baby's falling asleep. No bubbles in here. View is to stretch a sticky, unruly, and unattractive red blood. Some part of it is even squirming. It occurs to you that this is a group of playmen with big heads and short legs. They're the true rulers of the planet of Colossus. Uh, I wanted to say a Colossus, like molasses. I don't know why. Probably because it's sticky. Oh, this place seems to be the Royal Council Chamber. You've forgotten why you were attending the meeting. Meeting room reverberates with muffled gobbling noises. It sounds like the whines of despair made by a person drowning in a swamp as mud slowly blocks off their airway. The meeting is boring you to tears. On calls us anyone can speak their mind. This mission race, uh, rests upon our shoulders together. We will defend Colossus from the calamity that is the wet season. By the stars, you can't take it anymore. Listening to the prattling of the talent motivation department's top brass would be more interesting than this muck. You can't resist the urge to roll your eyes, but suddenly notice the king is staring directly at you. Thankfully, he just wants to invite you, a rare earth mag management consultant from the IPC, to speak on the stage. Problem? You're just an outsider. What could you possibly know about the future of Colossus? You've got it. You roll your dry eyeball slight, slightly and swiftly, then flash the king a standard yet dazzling smile. You take to the stage and release the unending waterfall of sounds in what you imagine their language to be. The crowd of claimant cry as they hear you speak. You worry they might dissolve in a puddle of their own tears. You laugh and shrug towards the interpreter as you say this. The planet doesn't have a shred of hope because the claimant won't make it past the wet season. He says that there is so much hope for pulses, the interpreter says, as he nervously sweats. This is a common language. Universalism, you don't under you understand. By joining the IPC and being united, there will be no communication barriers. Okay, I'm thinking that's the last bubble. Yes. Alright, guys. So I'm going to take a short break, and then we'll see about hopping on this train. So hold tight. I will be right back. <laughs> 